bird noises on the stream. I'm sorry for that in advance. <coughs> Hold up. There you go. Oh my god, okay. So today, I'm, I think I'm gonna continue more Sumeru story. Because, ooh, we got one wish. Because last time I left it on a on a cliffhanger because I'm so tired. I'm so sorry for that. Okay, it's three stars. Damn it. Uh, let's see how much resin I have. 147, okay, we're close. But I think I can just fill it up. Nope. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, spending resin it is then, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna spend my resin first, and then I'm gonna... Ooh. Yeah, we have to do this daily quest. But the most important one is definitely res resin. So I think that I'm just gonna farm Zhongli's... Yeah. Zhongli set. Because I'm missing one one more piece, one more good piece, and then we're good. Uh, okay, if you guys see this artifact, the set bonus, it's only got HP increased by 20%, right? And I have three pieces, I just need one more. So let's let's do that, let's farm that. One piece. Did you guys know... That One Piece is the name of an anime? <laughs> like what? Okay, stop making cringy jokes, Jesus Christ. See how fast I can do this shit. I've been also thinking about streaming Spiral Abyss, but... I don't think... It'll be any good content because you need to focus on Spiral Abyss. And when I'm streaming, you know, my attention is divided <laughs> to, you know, chatting with the stream and trying to actually do the Spiral Abyss. It's just a bit of a mess. I'm not, I'm not used to streaming a lot to be able to do Spiral Abyss. So, I don't think if I'm going to be able to stream Spiral Abyss. God damn it, I get full. Artifact, okay. Uh, Beido. Beido. Let's upgrade your artifact. Yeah. Two times bonus pitch. Let's go. Crit. Hell yeah, boy. Uh, okay, can we get another crit? One more. <gasps> nope. Yeah. Figures. I'm asking too much. Why am I why am I upgrading this to the max? I don't Okay. There we go. And it's HP. Okay, it's okay. Can always do more. <laughs> I don't know. Uh I don't know if I need to spend more resin on stuff because I'm I'm actually pretty good on stuff you know on my character stats and all that stuff and that I don't think I need to spend any more resin but seeing them freeze like that it's just a waste not to use it you know because at this point I'm just min maxing my characters it's just the most painful painful part. I'm like, is it even worth it? I mean, if I can just complete Spiral Abyss until like floor 12, chamber 3, that's all there is. That's all that I need, bro. I don't need to 12 star floor 12, you know. It's just, it's just painful. It's just not worth it. Okay, woo! Damn, that's pretty good. That's actually really good. And it's HP. Oh, but I just need one more HP on the substat. But you know what? I think we can do something. We can do something with that artifact. We can upgrade it. Who else needs, needs HP? Besides Zhongli. 
Hmm, this one is way better though, because it's because it's got HP. I guess it depends whether you want to run him as a shield bot or a burst support. I think most people just use him as a shield bot. Because his burst is not that... Eh, it does okay damage, you know, but it's not the best. So this is the piece that I got. Uh, it'll be ways not to upgrade it though. So let's see what we can do with this. If we can get... Crit, please. Damn, that's a lot of spikes. <laughs> this is a good artifact. <laughs> it's a good artifact. Okay, let's just upgrade it. More crit. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> Ooh. Well, this is a good artifact. <laughs> Hell yeah, this is good. This is good. Let's see if we can what, get one more. Bro, <laughs> Is this the luckiest stream of all or what? God damn. Okay, if we can get one more crit damage. It'll be like... Mm, magnifique. Let's go. One more crit, baby. One more crit. Ah, oh, I guess it's as I'm just asking too much, but it's good enough. That's actually a pretty good <laughs> substat. Jesus Christ. Uh, currently I have 15% and 7%. Yeah, I would argue that this is way better. Okay, who needs HP? <gasps> Yelan. Oh, yeah, she needs HP. But I think stacking HP is way better, isn't it? Maybe Kokomi, but... Ah. Uh, her Ocean Clamp set is way better. Maybe in the future. When there's new characters that needs it, you know? Hey. I'll have it in stock. This is one of the easier domains too, because it's just two of this uh, Primo Geovishap. The most painful one is the one with the Deluxe Artifact. The Witch, Flame of Witch set. Oh, those sucks. Not the enemies, it's just, it takes me longer to finish the domain. Hey, look at that. One more level. I, I've played this game way too much. I'm s okay, defense and HP. Let's go, two more. Actually, I can stop now. You know what? This is going to be the last one, and then we'll continue the story. So, Meru story, boys. Dude, Eula is so strong, like, she's so underrated, like, I saw a video dedicated to playing Eula, that they can solo level uh, floor 12 spiral abyss with Eula, Jesus Christ, but to be fair, it's C6 Eula, so, basically any 5 star, if you have them C6, you're fucking rich. And also, you're... Why? <laughs> why are you spending so much money on this game? But then again, if you don't spend any money on this game, we wouldn't have Inazuma as beautiful as it is today. So, thank you. Thank you to all, to all the whales. I've only played like 10% probably of the first half of Inazuma. Where you go to the... The place where you, where there are flower blooms everywhere, the huge flower blooms, and it was so beautiful. God damn. And I'm just thinking in my head, like, without any whales, this, this wouldn't be possible. <laughs> Look at that. 
13,000 per hit. Eula is also like my, my first main carry. Well, Razor is my first main carry. But I've used Eula the longest. Yo! What up, Key Quick? How's your COVID? <laughs> there we go. We're safe with the resin. So I, so I don't have to think about it anymore. What up, Catherine? Oh yeah, we haven't seen Catherine in Azuma yet. That's how we're gonna meet her soon. Kuki Shinobu, and yeah, we should be good. From temperature, but it's fine now. Jesus Christ, dude, are you okay? Uh, yeah, let's just continue on with this. You mean the medicine or the swab? All the tests yet that you have to do. Okay, let's just go to Inazuma. No, I mean Sumeru. God damn it. Where were we? I forgot where we were. In the story, I mean. Yeah, I've heard the medicine is pretty expensive for COVID. At least the proper one. Dude, any kind of illness sucks. It makes you think back on the time when you were healthy, you know? Like, why am I sick? And then you you start to remembering the time when you're when you're not sick, <laughs> and how much you complained <laughs> before you were healthy. I mean, being sick in general sucks. <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah, we need to feed this girl who's dying. <laughs> Make box launch. You like being sick when you're in school? <laughs> you mean fake, fake being sick or... Because <laughs> then you don't have to go to school, right? Let's go surf this up and start eating with... Hypasia? What's her name? Yeah, man. Waking up in the morning and just, you know... Pretending to be sick. To your parents like I'm not I don't want to go to school <laughs> and they know your parents know when you're pretending being sick you know in my case as long as I'm not doing it like every week I'm fine I'm fine with getting away once in a while you know oh she's standing now lunch Ermin soup Yeah, we're just built different like that, you know I didn't catch a single word that she said. <laughs> uh, yeah, you lost me.
Well, there he is. It's if he's eavesdropping on us. Wait, did you say that adults can't dream, but children can? Uh, but when they dream, it's also not rational or logical. Okay, that's interesting. From the Aranara. Yeah, it's really complicated. I'm like a bit lost, but I'm struggling to keep up.
Okay, now that that's over, we're back to Tignari and Kole. Maybe we'll actually see how Kole is doing now. Wait, what's this? So this is the home to the little guys. Are we actually gonna meet them? Or are they just gonna be in the background? Uh, yeah, I wanna know about the unusual neighbors. A lot of primos. Ooh, so they're cute and profitable. <laughs> that's really, that's really nice. Ah. They're scared of Tignari. Yeah, I think I'm done. Okay, so let's... Let's go back to Dignari. Gandalfville. How do you say it? So this is where the locked... Hey, is this a house? Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, it looks like one of the one of those little creatures. And this one is broken. And I can't go in here. God damn it! There is a dangerous cubus there. Okay, can I teleport back? Nope. Wait, can I kill this <laughs> bison thing? Some fresh air and clean air. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, what is that? She's wearing something on her ear. Many may say that the air here is too humid, but it's perfect for me. You must understand that traveling through the desert is torture. If it wasn't for the business, would anyone want to land a foot on that Archon for second place? Oh, so she's from the desert. Mm, an endless expanse of sand, the scorching sun, wind mixed with dirt. I'd mentioned the danger of the sand, sandstorm pose. And the ruins filled with strange mechanism. Uh, there used to be no desert. Oh, battle between the Scarlet King and the Great Lord that created the desert. Scarlet King. I don't really care how the desert was formed. I'm more interested in when it'll go away. That's when we traveling merchants will be able to do business more safely. That's all. Ah. Mm, I haven't been able to dream ever since I grew up. But still, one should dream big. Following a... If you dream big. Assume I think... You've been to the desert then? God damn. Maybe one day the Scarlet King and Great Lord Vukadevada will come back again. On their return, there will be no desert, no pain. Okay. Did we get something? Yeah. We get an artifact out of that. Okay, Kole, how are you doing? I hope she's she's recovered now. Oh, it's still unavailable? Aww. But yeah, it, it's huge then. Sumeru is huge. So probably it's like Mondstadt. Like Mondstadt have a dragon spine. 
and it and Liwe has the chasm, right? So it's probably coming up. It's an expansion kind of for the map. Uh, refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. So I think this these are the people from the city, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're trying to to make him stay in the academia. What are you looking at? But I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities here. Is, is Kusan only in the Sumer city then? He doesn't like the city. Is it because of his ear? His ear is so sensitive that he can't stand all the noises in the city.
Oh, Kole is such a good friend. So we're leaving this the jungle and we're going to the city then. Um, her name is Um. Ah, uh, do you not like the city? Yeah, it it has its ups and downs, you know. It's plus and minus. You live in the jungle, it's 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 good for your soul, but then you won't it's not easy getting food. You live in the city, everything is easy, but then the people are <laughs> are not so kind, so yeah. Uh, about Coley. Academia's invitation. Seems there's a major. Yeah. So this is all left at Academia, yeah. Yeah, Thignar, you just stay, like you really do feel like you really belong in the jungle anyway. Oh, look at that, she's wearing such a cute little hat. Ruda, Rudaba. I'm not a Fanara. Uh, who are you? Biology, Amurta. From the academy, I'm carrying out an academic study in the rainforest. Uh, suitable bodyguard. Okay, bye. Where's Coley? Oh, there she is. Our precious little girl. Take care of yourself. Oh, she's given the recipe. Yeah, oh, we we've given we've been given such a good welcome here in Sumeru. Oh, good luck, Coley. You've been really welcoming in this. Oh, what is this? Zayton. 
Bye, Colin. Why do I get a feeling that we're this is this is not gonna be the last time that we see Coley? Ah, uh, Peter Pockets. Nah, how are you feeling? Okay, bye Cole. Uh Amir. That girl? Ah. Uh. Well, we get some flour out of it. Wait, what's this do? Uh, what? Do I need to get up there? What the fuck do I do with this? Where do you from? I come to Sumer and Kole will have a yeah, I I get a feeling that that's gonna be happening soon. I mean, they've been doing a lot of fucking uh, collab, if you want to call it, between city. So I think that's gonna happen soon. What do I do? Ah, okay. Wait, that was it. So that unlocks a chest. Oh. Is this a bonus quest? Nope. You shoot it. <laughs> I, I already did <laughs> with uh, my elemental skill. Those motherfuckers are attacking the fucking caravan. Hold up, let me just get this. Nope. You dead, boy. Was that not it? Okay, let's just do this, Hilly Charles. Oh, this is our first human enemies. Legoof, Legoof, what are you doing, Legoof? Red sat satin, what? Okay, hold up. Ah, oh, so that's what I need to unlock this chest. Man, there's so many new items. 
Well, to be honest, it's like a huge update. Wait, uh, I think the look is way better in this environment because we got dendro stuff over here that we can burn. Are they gonna give any treasure though? Nope. But it's a lot of items still. So that's pretty good. Leg off. What you got, my dude? Leg off. To have met such a friendly traveler in another land. Wait, he's not from around here. He's from Mondstadt, isn't he? Uh, has been sheltered neatly. Needs your great protection. And here I was sure that they were lost. Lost for sure at the hand of these chili turtles. What the fuck? From Fontaine. Ah. Previously, they even hid at the mouth of the main road, successfully stealing a batch of the latest appeal, apparel from Fountain. And you know what? I saw with my very own eyes the mushroom caravan in front of me, pass them by, safe and sound, right in front of their noses even. Do these hero churros have, have it in them for me or something? I mean, I'm all the way here in Sumeria you now, you know? Have we met him before? Uh, barbecue some meat. Oh dear. Those burnt clothes could have sold for enough to buy loads of grilled meat. Even Paimon thinks that it was a huge waste. To be honest, I can't understand why this fellow keeps chasing me as well. Thanks, dude. I was able to protect my cargo this time. Ah, yes. Here's a token of my appreciation. Please accept it, my friend. You deserve it. Ah, I thought there was going to be more to it, but hey, money is money. Thank you. Bye. Let's get this dendro cure loose or something. It's a huge tree. Oh, another quest. God damn, it's endless. Well, I can. Oh, I thought I can go in here. Where is it? Ah. Ooh, a little tree house, literally. What's in here? God damn, it's... have I ever told you how beautiful this game is? <laughs> it looks so good. Ah, oh, so it's going here, ah. Wait, can I shoot it again? What do we change here? Raiden, probably. Mm, I'll change you with... Uh... I got you, why not? Yeah. <laughs> I guess when another one comes out, I'm gonna shoot it. Uh, for now, let's do this quest. Way over here. God damn, it's already huge. There's so many stuff to do. Oh, man. Nasty mushroom. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> nope, I'm back to the merchant. <laughs> the nasty mushroom. Woo! Damn, burning is so effective.
Damn, the music is pretty good. I'm Forest Watcher here. Rana. Uh, we're from a very different place. I see. You aren't dressed like in inhabitants of the forest. Nor do you look like you're from the desert. But your clothes do have good breathability and are suitable for traveling in Sumeru. Since Ron is a forest watcher, uh, she should know Kole. Have you met that kid? Kole hasn't been very well. She still works hard to protect. Ah. Trustworthy senior, the one with the fluffy ears. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Amber. Not Sting Nari. I'm just gonna go with Amber. Go, go, Baron Bunny. <laughs> no, it's Amber. The Forest Watcher's duty is to protect the forest, assist travelers, and provide guidance. As the two of you might have noticed lately, lately the forest has been less than ideal. The fungi and beasts have been growing aggressive, and there's the withering. How about I, I escort you both? My patrol route will pass through Vim Vimara village next. Smooth sailing from there to either Port Ormos or Sumeru City. Uh, but I have a few things to take care of before that. I see. I'll wait here for you. Stay safe. Man, Sumeru has been really welcoming. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, hold up, Rana. Like, Cole is... Cole in, uh... Dignar is very welcome, and then... You get Rana to escort you to the city. It's a lot different compared to Inazuma. Where you get straight up... Ooh, what is this? Woo! And it went up. Wait, I can summon Dendro. Oh, the port is beautiful. I bet a lot of things are very... Oh, well, talent level of material. Well, we get something there. So where's the port? Is it near the city? Woo! Woo! Hell yeah. What is this? Butterflies? Damn, yeah, the view is amazing. Oh, we got a tree house. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. Oh, so that's Sumeru City. Okay. Uh, hold up, we're gonna go meet Lana first, but then there's this uh, then rescue has so many stuff to do. Whoop. Ah. Wait, I don't want to skip a, a lot of things here. It's in the south. Ah, so here then. So these are all oceans then, or here. Okay. Ooh, so many treasures. Damn. Ah, what do we do? Oh, there it is. Boom. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa. <laughs> so close. Got him. I don't want to go to the city yet. We'll go there with Nara. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Thank you. Oh, hold up. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I knew it was coming. The game just froze. God damn it. Not the game. My CPU just froze. My hard drive is so bad. It. Like, I would, one day I just turn on my computer and the hard drive's got corrupted for fuck's sake
Uh, wait, Wave Rider? What? Okay, I'm just gonna activate it. <clears throat> just as a marker to know that I've been here, you know? Man, I keep forgetting that I can do this. Hey, new enemies. What? I was there to unlock something. I was in the middle of a fucking battle, dude. Oh, I think it was because I hit this. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be using her. <laughs> yeah, let's go talk to Na Nara. What was her name? Nara? Yeah. Rana. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, look at that, they're sleeping. What up, little hippos? <laughs> and they're dead. Oh, you wanna go? Three raw meats. Damn, okay. Oh, you can actually stand on it. I thought you were just gonna clip through. Jong Lee, uh, I go for Bersabar Jong Lee. <laughs> so have you got Jong Lee then? A lot of people just use Jong Lee for shield bot, right? I use him for burst support. <laughs> like I went for HP, but also I go for crit damage and crit rate. Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> I just need one more artifact for his complete set. And then he'll be like, invincible. <laughs> well, not really. Oh, this hero chose, you, you fucked me up. Yeah, I guess it makes the game really uh, easy, right? Did you put for Pig Nari then? Yeah, no problem, dude. So that just gives you... This thing, right? If you wanna go... Oh, that's really convenient. If you wanna go somewhere like fast. Oh, it's so good. Oh, little mushrooms. Nah, I can't do this shit. Sorry guys, I had to do it. I need the treasure chest and I need the primo gems. And also your materials. I'm taking everything from you basically. Wait, where am I going? Dude, let's just... What is this? <laughs> I get distracted so easily. Okay, just, just go to Rana first and we can explore later on, okay? Jesus Christ. What up, guys? Burning, then. Ooh, so it's damage over time. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Damn. Pyro got even stronger. Who's throwing shit at me? You bitch. Big and beautiful non-aggressive foes. But you're like, oh, those aggressive little shrooms. You wanna kill me? I can't kill them back now. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. I rate things based on cuteness. <laughs> <clears throat> 
But yeah, I shouldn't be killing those bulls. They're peaceful. <laughs> and they don't even give you that much material. They just give you raw meat. There it is. There's another one. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, okay, Rana, Rana. We're going to meet Rana. God damn it. I keep forgetting. Okay, don't get distracted. Rana, let's go. <laughs> uh, Vimara Village. Smooth sailing from there to either Sumir City or Port Oromos. Scoring travel is my job. Let's go! <clears throat> Oh, what is this? Wait. Woodland Encounter. Uh, is this? No, that was this quest. Lost Riches. Man, there's so many quests now. New boss, Spiral Abyss. Oh no. I'm not doing Spiral Abyss on stream. Are you following Rana? Since you're a forest watcher, you must be very familiar with the woods, right? Uh huh. I live around here for years, and I know every tree in the forest. Really, damn. Becoming somewhat peculiar lately. Even the weirding zone are becoming. Ooh, what happened here? Hold up, Rana. Ooh, so this is the withering zone. It's only been a few days, a new withering zone has popped up already, so close to the main road, too. Uh, we handled it with Ignari before. Disposed of a withering zone before? I won't go into how dangerous it is. Regardless, let me mark down the location and radius of effects for now. After I take, I take you to Vimara village, I'll go to Gun, Gandara, Gandarva will and bring Tignari over to help. I wanted to do a uh, Spiral Abyss, but then I won't be able to get like a uh, full 12 stars because I just can't focus. Maybe I'll do it in the future. I don't, uh, I'll have to see. Uh, wait, am I recording the audio? God damn it, I'm not. Are you kidding me? I've been muting the stream all this time. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, mark down vacation radius. Just leave it to us. I uh, wouldn't approach it unless absolutely necessary. Yeah, no worries. It's okay. When fending off the fungi, shouldn't do that. We can't have. You injured by the withering after coming all this way. Uh, I don't like this withering zone. Let me deal with it. <laughs> Leave it to me. I understand. I'll wait here. Too much to handle. Get out of there or call for help. And I'll be there. Aww. She's so... She's so good at taking care of people. Nope. I can't talk to her. Uh, clean up the withering. Okay. So all I have to do is just charge shot, right? Nope. Hold up, let me just clean up this withering first, guys. Nope, I'm out of stamina. God damn it. So that was it, right? Yep. Guys, just just stop. Get over here. What is that? A scorpion reverence? Now I need to get another one of these, right? Nope. Was that it? Nope. Do I need to kill these guys first? 
Nope, I missed. I forgot what it does. Oh, no. Uh, D loop, D loop. Yep. And it's back to green. Very nice. Incredibly amazing. Take it down a notch. No, nah, thanks. Uh, miss. <laughs> so I wonder if you guys are interested in joining us. I can vouch for you both. It would be great to get powerful, dedicated people like Nova and Paimon on our side. You can better control the spread of the withering. Sure, you're probably not familiar with the woods, but that shouldn't be too much problem. Uh, calm down. You remember the wow, wondrous creature we saw before? Which one? Ah, the Aranara, okay. Aranara. Small, round, plant like fairies. Denizens of the woods and guardians of the trees. We generally dismiss them as just tail. Sure, those were just some shrewd boars. As an animal, you'll only you'll see only in the forest of Sumeru. The round green beasts that live that live in the forest we to find precious mushroom. Which one? Sounds delicious. I doesn't think that's quite the same thing as what we saw. I've never seen an Aranara. You can ask the kids after you get to Romaro Village. They seem to be very into the legends of Arnar. The children always try to hide their thoughts from adults. You can read their minds like a book. And know each other very well. Of course we are. Paimon has been very loyal to us this whole time. Uh, we're in across a lot of journeys, so we gotta learn how to fight. Okay, uh, we're continuing on. Where are we going? I get distracted way too easily. So many things to check out, dude. It's not my fault, okay? <laughs> there it is, another mushrooms. What up, little cute shrooms? What are you doing? Are you pollinating? Ooh, what is that attack? And it's dead. Oh! This motherfucker. Okay, let them all come. Uh, I don't have Riding Shogun in my party, it's making this fight a little bit harder, but... How many? What are you doing? <clears throat> yeah, I hear a lot. Of, I I guess it's her voice, but then again, she has a unique voice. I don't get why people don't like her. I mean, she has been very loyal to us. Uh, can I get in here? Yep. Oh, it's just ill. <gasps> Is that a tiger? What a tiger! Oh, it's a cute big cat. Chunky cat. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. Can I pet him? Oh, you're such a cute pet. It's a cute cat. And it's got even a smile. I'm sorry, I just had to. <clears throat> I guess that's wrong, me too. Oh, look at this flappy mushroom. What you got, flappy mushroom? Sit. 
I can kill him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ooh, remarkable chest. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to. <laughs> it's just so cute. I don't want it to live in this cruel, cruel world, dude. It just, it just, it's just cruel to live in life, okay? <gasps> oh, such a cute little pig. What are you doing, piggy? What up, piggy? No, sorry, Bison. I didn't mean to kill you. Look, I'm sorry, okay? They got in the way. It's not my fault. <laughs> Uh, more dangerous kill I damn it I'm taking it very uh. wait where they going uh no I guess we'll see them later then uh okay uh, hold up. So where are we going next? Uh, we fixed the withering here. Are we actually going to the Sumeru city? Wait, we're going further away. I guess she wants to take us around then. A little bit of stroll never hurts anybody. From trees. Which flopper? Okay, making sure that I don't miss anything. What? Wait, what? I haven't done anything to him, okay? Hey, they attack me. <laughs> the big cat attacked first, okay? Don't blame me on that. <laughs> oh, there's another teleportation point. Tigers, yeah, <laughs> I get. Uh, the Mar Village. Grandpa Amadea. <clears throat> uh, hold up. You're a monster? Yeah, he looks like it. Born and raised in Mondstadt, a few years back I came here on my journey of tracing the footsteps of a lady poet. Once I got here, I realized that this place is awesome. No one will force me to be a poet here. <clears throat> and though my parents are both poets, I detest poetry. Instead of heading back home, letting them use beautiful rhyme to mock my lousy poems, I feel much more free and at, at ease here. Ah, a rebellious soul. You do you, buddy. Okay, uh, she wants to say hi to her grandpa. What up, grandpa? Amadea. Rana, you know the job of a forest watcher is important. Uh, but you should come around more often. Yeah, I know. I, pa I patrol the forest so that those tiger cubs can hang out in the woods safely. It was just a mess right now. There are tiger in Vimara village? Tiger cubs refers to Ayotam and his friends. By the way, your voice, I don't think I've ever met you. Do we have visitors? Uh, these two are... Ah, I see. Welcome to Vimara village. And thanks for your helping... And thanks for helping Rana out. Plan to form a night watch, getting Alfonso, Bahram, and Aurelius 
to safeguard the perimeter as a group. It's a great plan. It's for the good of the children after all. Something happened in the bar village? Related to the round plant-like creature we saw before. What are you talking about? Sounds like a cabbage from your description. Little uneasy from some recent events. Spent my whole life in Vimara village and never saw anything like this. I won't bore you with, the, with my stories. Please watch over Anna. She's always been a troublemaker since she was little. She got lost in the wood once when she was 7 or 8 for a couple of days. Damn! Fine, fine. You'll be a good host now, Rana. Don't let her guest down. She hasn't. She's been very nice. She's uh, getting all these cyber starting to fail him, but it's... Everyone has been so nice to us. It's insane. Powerful traveler, how about you? Caught anything good? You know, when he was a kid, Donald Fizz is waiting. You interested? Not sure yet. Maybe later. Oh, it's so cute. We're, we're taking our time strolling around. This this is how how you're supposed to play the game. It's so peaceful. It's more RPG like this way, isn't it? So cool. This version has been very good. <laughs> Lama to introduced these two impressive travelers who have helped me a lot. And this here is Alfonso. Just about the most dependable person in the Mara village. <clears throat> you flatter me, Rana. Anyway, nice to meet you too. Thanks for looking after Rana. You don't look like a local, Alfonso. <laughs> Are you a traveler too? You're an, you're an experienced traveler indeed. Saw right through me at a, at a glance. I came as an apprentice from Fontaine. But I ended up staying because I really like it here. <clears throat> and it's been and it's been years since. Alfonso is practically one of us now. Anyway, how are the kids? They're not running around, are they? I mean it's not a good time right now. They're in the village, waiting for you to return after Cavus came back. Is it really okay to talk about to talk about that before our guest? Maybe we should talk about it later. Is that something important? We can come back later. Don't worry, they saved my life after all. Uh, you could have made it on your own. Yeah. Time is life to me. You saved me time, so you saved my life. That's a good analogy, I like that. <laughs> Some of the children in the Mar village have gone missing. Ooh. Uh, that warrants much more than just an anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said it so casually. Someone abduct the kids. It's a very serious problem. Have you notified the sheriff in Sumeru City? They have a sheriff? Wait, wait, just listen to me. The missing children always came back in a few days, though they don't remember what happened. What the fuck is happening? That sounds a lot more fucked up than it, than it actually is. A uh, search party every time, sometimes we run into wild animals, sometimes a withering zone, other times outside obvious too. Outsiders obviously too too tough for us to handle. However, we could never find the kids since the woods are simply too big to search, even for Rana. Yeah, but in the end, they would suddenly return when no one was paying attention and couldn't recall anything when asked. Damn, Paimon does that too. They remember nothing at all? So it's normal for kids? Hey, good at you two. Uh, they remember nothing at all? Not sure. I think they just uh, don't want us to tell adults. Ah. Sticker. Oh, I haven't really thought about that. I haven't really used any sticker in Genshin. So I don't know much about the stickers. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm only a few years older than them. Yeah, there's so there's a gap between the adults and the kids here in in, in uh, Sumeru. In 
there's a huge difference being that the adult cannot dream while the kids they can still dream right still that's pretty concerning right so I've been patrolling nearby recently looking out for anything unusual that's also why I just spoke to Amadea about forming a night watch ah okay yeah I rarely chat in this game I'm sorry <laughs> I used to chat a lot back in like my low AR days when I was still like AR25 but now that spam strong paimon oh the one with the muscle and everything yeah <laughs> that was such a random sticker too for me night watch I also asked Alfonso to keep an eye on the kids sorry it's okay be more concerning if they actually stay put uh, Yusufa. It's his job to watch after Kavus and Subede. The name is really weird. <laughs> <clears throat> you're the one, you're the only one who can get through to the kids. It's dangerous outside lately. With the zone aside, you get a Fatui from Sunez Naya with their armed merchant mercenaries operating in the forest. If something goes wrong. So there's Fatui. Damn, the Fatuis are fucking everywhere, dude. I'll be careful, uh, but I should be on the ball because it is dangerous. <clears throat> but even if you could deal with the wild animals, the Fatui are more than you can handle, Rana. Sounds like Alfonso knows the Fatui very well. Oh, I learned about them from the travelers uh, shuttling between Sumer City and Port Ormos. It's Rana. Oh, there it is! The kids! Uh, here comes trouble. Pick it over. Uh, pick a bunch of star shroom. Never wander outside a village. There's Bol and Raja. Not scared of anything. You catch the Gator Raja this time? I wanna hear some tales from the woods, Rana. Well, I didn't see the Gator Raja this time, but I bought you a golden lion and a silver... Silver what? <laughs> Weasel teeth. Because there's not really much you can do in co-op. Yeah, if, you, if you're like higher than 40, 45, and you start farming artifact, you start getting good good stats, you know? The co-ops become kind of useless. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Whooper flower. <laughs> Weasel teeth. Another lion. Uh, why weasel teeth? Silver dusk bird. Silver bass. What? No, oh, Paimon's kidding. Huge Cater and Stumper Beast Lord. Oh, they're telling stories to the, t to the children. Let him tell a story? Uh, sure. Been very eventful one. Oh, it's so cute. Such a peaceful village. So that's Rana's house. Suddenly this game becomes so RPG-like. It reminds me of Final Fantasy X so much. I don't know why, and it's 
It's very good. Wait, where are they going? Oh, I want to explore so much, but... You know what, let's just do the quest first, and then we, we can explore it later. Cavus? You alright, Cavus? Everyone's already ahead of you. Welcome. Uh, because I'm very excited to see visitors. Okay. Let's go, Cavus. Keep up. They're leaving you behind. Ran faster than birds could fly. It's going to worry me sick if you run away someday. We won't run if Rana's here. I'm going to marry Rana when I grow. Oh, slow down there, buddy. I thought you were a girl. Wait, didn't you promise to marry me? Liar. Yeah. What? Uh, you'll meet more people when you grow up. People more impressive and better than me. For instance, Miss Blonde here is way mightier than me and has has met many great people along their journey from far away, right? Uh, such as Paimon. <laughs> You've been traveling a long time? Rana said you'd tell us stories. Uh, sure, I guess. I got a lot of stories. You got the tiger cups then? I have a meeting to go too. You kids be a good here. Be good to her and stay put till I come back. Okay. Aww. This is such a cute little story. On to the stories. You're Yotam, right? What stories would you like to hear? Future bisexual creep. <laughs> nope, nope, <laughs> we're not going there. <laughs> uh, stories about dragons. Alfonso said they're ancient and very powerful. Sea monsters. Uh, yep. Dis distinguished lady who is smart and powerful. What? I'm smart and powerful. <laughs> very pretty too, but I'm going to be Rana's bride, so I have to be strong than stronger than you. They all want different stories. Hey, isn't there someone that knows stories? The eight eight hated hy Hydra, silver haired, silver haired Banshee, and wicked abyss dragon. Paimon thinks everyone would be happy if that person was here. Are we talking about Zhang Li? Uh, we know a lot of stories, and we'll tell them all. Can I ask them about the mystery, mysterious creature while I'm at it? Can I ask them about how they went missing? Yeah. Mysterious creatures too. Uh, oh no. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to end the stream <laughs> soon. Yep, because I gotta go. I'm so sorry, my dude. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know it's a bit sudden, but I have to end the stream now. So, yep. <laughs> Sorry for making this so sudden. And, uh... Bye! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I'll explain later, okay? Just... Bye! <laughs>